Oh, hi. What? Okay, I know that I have not posted any video for a long time and for this I apologize to all of you but from today onwards I will try to at least upload one video in a month. Well, coming back to our topic, few months ago Ibis Paint introduced its new animation feature and I was very excited to try this one. So I buy one month premium subscription of Ibis Paint because animation feature in Ibis Paint is not completely free. But after using Ibis Paint for few weeks, I came to know that Ibis Paint is good in animation but it also have some negative points in which flipper clips surpass him. So I divided this video into two parts. In first part, I will talk about the animation feature of Ibis Paint and how to make animation on it. And in second part, we will discuss about the negative points and also compare it with flipper clip to know which one is better. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So to make animation on Ibis Paint, you need to create a new project. For this, click on the plus sign on the top, scroll down a little, you will get the animation option. But as I say before, animation feature in Ibis Paint is not completely free. Only the first two options are free. And if you want to do animation on 1920 by 1080 pixels or more, then you will have to buy the premium subscription of the Ibis Paint. But if you already have the premium, then you can easily work on it. Ok, here's a box will appear in which you can select the FPS or frame per second. In Ibis Paint, you can select max up to 30 frames. So I select 24 frames, click OK. Your working area and toolbars will appear. Here I am using iPad so my tools are present on the left side. But if you are doing it on your smartphone, then your tools will be available here. Ok, so the interface is almost similar as its drawing interface except this new toolbar in which on the left side you will get your frames and on the right side you will get these three options in which by clicking on plus sign you can add new frames. Second is play option and by clicking on these three dots you will get four more new options. The first one is animation setting option in which again you can edit your FPS after this, you will get the play option. First one is loop option in which your animation will play again and again in a loop. The second one is ping pong option in which your animation first plays straight and then in reverse. And the last one is one shot option. Just like its name, your animation only play once. After that, you will get the onion skin option. By turning it on, you can see the shadows of before and after frames. On your current frame if you want you can easily change the opacity and color of the shadow frames after that second one is frame settings in which you can adjust or change the duration of the selected frame you can also duplicate or delete it here is your layers and from here you can save your animation i know it's little confusing but you will understand more as we actually animate so I'm going to animate a run cycle because in run cycle almost every single frame is different from each other and as a beginner it's really a good practice to improve your animation. So I'm starting with drawing a rough stick figure so that I know how my animation will look later. And yeah don't forget to on your onion skin option. It's really help you to speed up your animation process and it's also make your animation more smooth and consistent. Ok, so the rough stick figure is done and it's look really good and smooth. Now it's time to add a character. I decided to draw monkey d Luffy. For this I create a new layer above the stick figure layer and also decrease the opacity of the stick figure layer in each frame. Now draw the Luffy and yeah this is also a rough layer so I'm not drawing every single details. If you feel that your character shape is not correct then you can correct it with the help of lasso tool. Ok so our first frame rough sketch is ready. Similarly we draw all the frames. The head of the Luffy is almost similar in every frame. So again I use lasso tool to copy Luffy's head and paste it on every single frame. As you can see the rough stick figure layer is working as a guideline which make the process more easier.
after drawing all the rough frames with proper details our running luffy is look like this nice now it's time for outline again create a new layer above the rough layer and hide the stick figure layer i'm using this brush for outline but you can use any brush according to your comfort okay so the outlines look really good now it's time for coloring and shading in ibis paint you can color your character in different different ways the first one which most of the beginners use is brush tool and bucket fill tool which is very time consuming and sometimes it leaves some space now the second way which i personally use for fast coloring and shading is lasso fill and clipping to use lasso fill select the special tool option click on this setting option select the lasso fill now fill the base color you can also use it as a eraser just by tap the switch option here now for shading again create a new layer above the base color layer now your layer is clipped with your base color layer now you can use any brush or lasso fill tool to draw the shades easily and quickly because the colors will not go outside the base color layer after drawing the shades you can merge the shading layer with your base color layer with this technique i color every single frame Okay our Luffy run cycle animation is complete but it's look really simple so i decided to add more frames in which luffy transform into gear 5 to draw gear 5 i only need to draw head and cloud part on his back because the body will remain the same so i create a new layer upon the base form luffy to draw the gear 5's luffy head and cloud With similar process I outline and color the gear 5 Luffy. And copy the layers and paste them after the base form Luffy. Here our gear 5 Luffy is also ready. But to merge it with our base form Luffy, I decided to add impact frames between the base form Luffy and Gear 5 Luffy to make the transition more smooth and cool. But it was my first time to draw impact frames and I don't know how to draw them. So I take the reference from this clip and try to draw it in my own style. And I mainly use lasso fill tool to draw the impact frames and it takes me only 30 to 40 minutes to draw all of them. After drawing all the impact frames when I play the animation the results are really impressive and after adding some sound effects and music our animation is look like this Okay now it's time to talk about the negative points of Ibis Paint and also compare it with Flipper Clip so the first point is layer management In Flippa Clip you can create only 10 layers but you can rename them and they are much easier to handle while on the other hand in Ibis Paint we can create unlimited layers but we cannot change their names and it becomes very confusing during animation process while talking about layers then in Flippa Clip when we create a new layer and rename it then it's automatically created in all the frames but in ibis paint you have to manually create a new layer in each frames which is very frustrating and time consuming second point is serial number in flippa clip there is a serial number on top of each frame which let us know which frame we are working on but in ibis paint there is no serial number on the frames which means we don't know in which frame we are working on number 3 we cannot add music and sound effects in ibis paint you cannot add music and sound effects in your animation for that you need a second software or app to add music number 4 lag issue in flippa clip i have worked upon more than 2000 plus frame in a single project but i never face any lag or glitch issue but in ibis paint after working on just 200 plus frames i am facing lag issues and this warning always pop up on my screen whenever i add new frame Number 5 render issue one of the big and major issue of ibis paint animation is rendering issue if you download your animation in png sequence then it's good but if you save your animation in video format then it will lose its quality which is very disappointing while on the other hand flippa clip maintain its video quality even after the download 
Well, in the end of this video, I would just like to say that the animation feature in Ibis Paint is still new and I hope they will solve these issues through the updates. So yeah, this is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, then don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. Till then, bye bye.